Hello and thanks for watching. In this video we're going to cover other menu items that are available with the Community Builder platform that will take your users to, let's say, a specific user list, which we've already covered. Maybe we need to take them to a registration form. Maybe we want to make a link that allows them to edit their profile. Or maybe we want to make a link that allows them to recover their username and password. To do that, um, just go over to your menus. I only have one menu right now, the main menu. So first select the menu you want this link to show up in. And when you're here, I'm just going to use uh, this working example I've got here. I've already got a top link called Member Profiles, and I've got two sublinks under it. So um, to begin to make a new link, you just go to the top right and click New. And you'll notice that in this long list of options, the one you'll be interested in is called Community Builder. And when you click that, it's going to expand out into these other options. And, um, for example, we'll give you the option to make a menu link or a menu item that links to one of these components. So for this component, it would be a user list. Um, for this component here, it would be user profile edit. So if, they, if you want to allow your users to edit their profile, you would select that. If you want to provide a way for the users to retrieve their username and passwords, you'd select that. If you want to make a link to the registration page, you'd select registration page. And you've got two others, login page and logout action. Typically these two aren't needed because you can address these in the login module. And let me take you there real quick. Under extensions, under module. And I'm going to look for the community or CB login module, which is right here. And that module is this box right here on the front end. It's member login. And in here, you'll notice that you have logout redirection, login redirection URL. So again, you really don't need those two menu items too often, but they're there in case you do or want to use them. But to show you some examples, and I'll just show you a couple because uh, they're all the same. Um, this one right here I have set up to go to the registration form. I've called it reg page. And uh, well, let's just start from the beginning. Let me uh, trash this here. Let me just make a new menu item. So I'm going to select new, select community builder. And let's say I want to select a registration page, for example, because I want this link to go to, I'm going to call it reg page. And I'm going to put it under the member profiles. So when people mouse over that top link, it's going to drop down in a little drop down box. I'm going to hit apply. Going to refresh the front end. And now when I mouse over member profiles, at the bottom there's a reg page, the one I just made, and lo and behold, there's the registration form. Um, I'll just show you one more that's going to be maybe real popular. Um, user profile edit. I'm going to call this edit profile. And... Uh, Yeah, leave it under member profile, same area, and it is a user profile option. So gonna apply that. When we refresh the page, now that link, well, it's still named reg page. Let me change that to edit profile. I'm going to hit apply refresh the page and now watch what happens. I'm going to click edit profile and it's going to recognize I'm not logged in. And so what you'll need to do as a user or your users what they'll have to do is log in with their login details and once they do it pops up an area where they can go into each area and change their information as they see fit and you can also control this in the back end as to what information they can see, what information they can change, they can't change, etc. Um, and then, of course, they would hit update or cancel. And you'll notice that the login module disappeared with the username and password, and now it knows I'm logged in. But when I click log out, it's going to kick me out to the front page. That's where I have the log out redirection in the community builder login module um, set to go. And now when I go back to edit profile, the platform recognizes recognizes my session is ended and says that I need to log in again. So that's really what I wanted to point out is that keep in mind that under the menus 
and go into the menu that you want, or the menu's top tab, go into the menu that you want, and then when you're in there, to create a new Community Builder link, or a link that goes to a Community Builder component, you just click New, click Community Builder, and then deal with the one that you're wanting to use. So it's very, very simple, very easy way um, to link to major parts of the Community Builder platform just with simple menu items. Um, of course, one of those was a user list, but we addressed that in another video and kind of what you're needing to, to get from the user list to make that work. So anyway, I hope this helped out, and I'll see you on the next video.